Hi garden friends, I'm here to do the second activity from science kit number nine. And so what we're gonna work on now is our seasons of our tree. So you'll pull out this page. We have winter, spring, summer, and fall, and we have the bare structure of our tree. And our activity is gonna be to color these in using what we know about how tree, oh, trees, sorry, I tried to say two words at the same time there. We're gonna use what we know about how trees change in every season to color this page in. So I'm gonna start with my fall, and I know that my tree trunk is usually kind of a brown color, so I'm gonna get my tree trunk a little bit brown. And in fall, I know that my leaves of my tree that's when the days start to get shorter and my tree stops producing chlorophyll so the other colors in my tree leaves are visible in the fall remember chlorophyll is what makes the leaves green so as the days get shorter the trees stop producing that and you can see the other pigments so that's why in the fall the leaves turn all kinds of colors, yellow and orange and red and brown. Those pigments in those leaves are always there, but during the spring and summer, there's so much chlorophyll because the tree is producing so much food and there's lots of sunlight to help it do that. That chlorophyll covers up all of the other colors. Carrot, oh gosh, you guys, I forgot the pigment. It's carotene, but that's not quite the right name of the pigment. And the anthocyanin, which makes them red, and, or sometimes even like so dark, they're almost kind of purpley. Okay, so now my tree trunk is nice and brown, and I'm going to pick this kind of orangey red for my leaves. Let's see. Now you could get really detailed with this if you want to draw all these individual leaves and then color them in. Or, oh my, hmm, my pencil's kind of crumbling. Or if you want to get a little more artistic, you could sort of just do some swirls like this, maybe sort of like a Dr. Seuss tree where they're sort of fluffy looking. And you can bring in other colors. So for my fall, fall's a fun one to do, right? Because it's got lots of different colors. Now you can use crayons for this. You can use markers. I really like working with colored pencils, so I know you see me do that a lot on our videos. But you can use whatever, whatever works for you is totally great. Okay, and you're going to just take your time and think about, okay, in the fall, I know that chlorophyll goes away. And so my leaves are going to be all these other colors. We could even have some brown up in the leaves, too. There's a little bit of brown in there, too, I bet. Sometimes, especially when they get really dry and they start to fall off the tree, some of the leaves start to get brown. So I started with fall, and then I think I'll go over to... You guys, I have some ants. I'm sorry, you'll see an ant going on me from here and there. It's kind of funny. I think I'm going to hop up to spring. I'm kind of going out of order. But I thought spring would be a fun one to do because, so we know we're going to do the trunk brown, right? And I'm going to just do like a real quick, quick, quick brown. Because I kind of wanted to show you another thing you can do here um, is you could do the background, right? Imagine it's a nice, bright, sunny spring day. And you can fill in that nice blue sky back there. Or, um, you know, we have some nice fall days too that you could do the blue sky. I wonder what color sky might you might have in winter. 
I picked out a gray crayon to use for my winter sky because it's raining oftentimes in winter, right? So I thought maybe I would use gray there. But for my spring tree, I've got blue skies. And then in spring, remember in spring, that's when everything is just starting to bud out. So my leaves are gonna be full of chlorophyll, which means they're gonna be nice and bright green. They're working hard to convert the carbon dioxide and uh, water into oxygen and glucose to make energy for that tree. So there's my color combination for spring. Now spring and summer might look a little different because summer is often, depending on what you decide you want your tree to be, maybe this is an apple tree. So summer, it's gonna still be really green and have lots of chlorophyll but maybe when you come down here to your summer tree, you might have red apples or maybe orange peaches or, or oranges for that matter, but you know, peach colored peaches hanging in your tree. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there. I'm pretty sure you can figure out artistically what you wanna do with your winter and summer trees too. You don't have to make your spring and fall trees look just like mine. You can do it however you'd like. But just take a little time and enjoy thinking about trees and how they change over years. So every year they go through these seasons and they, um, they often get bigger and grow new branches. So it's kind of fun to think about trees and how they grow. All right? Be sure and get outside and visit some trees near you. Um, in addition to doing these activities inside, okay? Take care, garden friends. Have a great week.